Welcome back to Let's Play Mad Max. I'm Burning Dog the Face. Wasteland is generous, true, but most often, her gift is that of a sudden and painful death. Thank you, chum. And as I was going to say, and this is Bone Crack, an, uh, a transfer station. What do they call them? Uh, oil pump camp. Hmm. I am a fool. Fine, we'll do that one afterwards, and then we'll still be, uh, we're gonna check that one out. Anyway, I need to be here, because, uh... Oh, big red X. I'm told to look out for those, because they mean I can harpoon them. You know what? Pardon me a moment. Okay. Now that I filled the disclaimer, I filmed the disclaimer. I guess you guys have already seen. Oh, for fuck's sake! That did not do that much damage. Um. Okay. How about this? being a dick. Nice. You wait out here, chum. I'm gonna go introduce myself. Oh, fuck. Is there an intel thing around here? I figure that would be for that. Yeah, it'll be fine. It's only one skull. Whoa. Down you go. Nope, didn't. Oh, right at the spine, too. Oh, God. Ah, beat me to it. That's all right. That's all right, because I beat him to death. Came a little darker than I intended. Who said that? No one who wanted to kill that last guy. Thank you. As a reward, I'll tell everyone you died way braverly. Uh, wait, braverly? Way, uh, braver than that. Like you jumped on off of the top of a burning car with an axe at me. Random question, why don't all of these guys have, like, hammers and knives and shit? It's not exactly very hard to find pieces of jagged metal. One relic, four insignia, six scrap, and a, uh, hidden thing. It does bother me that, uh, it's, it doesn't, it says no intel, but... What the fuck do I know? Surely it would only say no intel gathered if you could get intel here, but I don't see anyone on the map except this guy, who is surely about that. The dredges. Charming place. Take your family. Actually, don't. If you... Okay. Even think about having a family in the post-apocalypse, you're probably an asshole. We got 
Excuse me. I ain't seen no insignias, I ain't seen no relics, I ain't seen shit. This one's painted on, that don't count. There's literally no reason to go up here. Odd. I'm gonna be really annoyed if it turns out that the, uh... The project parts only spawn if you have the thing tracked. You. Where even is the thing? Is that it? That might be it. It's a video game, let it go. Oh, for fuck's sake. He said as he got stuck in the level of geometry. Oh, please tell me they aren't going to eat that guy. Maybe they're performing an autopsy. Really, really inefficiently. I'm over here now. Oh. Ah. Uh. I couldn't resist. <laughs> I needed to adjust the sleeve of my shirt. Down you go. Ah, here we are. And here this is, on a little shrine. We only trade food for government coupons. Cash not accepted. I get that currency would have eventually become useless, but why would one form of currency be any better than any other? Why would government coupons be uh, valid, but money wouldn't? How am I doing? Not amazingly. I'm not done here yet. What are you? 
I don't know that I want to. Okay, looking up and around and all over. Where the fuck are those missing ones? Oh, hey, there's one. That's nice. I would recommend, you know, just fucking kicking it. But I guess Max has a bad leg. I mean, he does get into fist fights, though. While I'm running around, uh... Useless bit of Mad Max trivia. The guy who played, uh, the villain, or the main villain in, uh, the first movie, the Toe Cutter, is the same guy who played Immortan Joe in, uh, Fury Road. couldn't tell because it had been like 40 years and because uh, Immortan Joe wore a mask over his face the entire time. Well, you do see him without his mask on at the end, but, uh... Not to say it wouldn't help you pick him out of a uh, police lineup. Give me one drop. Oh, what am I missing? This camp isn't that big. all the scrap, so that's good. Now I just need to find the piece of the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the oil thing. And the... Oh, the, uh, sorry, the guy sidetracked looking around. The other insignias! Here's one. You need a hand, dude? I mean, give me a second. That one didn't even get hung up yet. Now, uh, now then, you... You know what? I'm just gonna leave you to do your thing. He doesn't look like a war boy, but... Oh, right, he's one of these guys. Maybe he's just in there because he's, I don't know, strung out, a junkie. W slash E. Ooh, I didn't go up here. Fuck. I'm nice to get another shiv. I was noticing that just earlier. Feck! doesn't really do that. Please tell me it doesn't really do that. That you have to have the thing marked on the map before it actually appears in the environment. I swear I'd run into one by accident before. It doesn't get... I know it doesn't get listed on the thing unless you're, you know, looking for it. That's right, it doesn't do that. Really should have kicked that while I was up there, huh, me? Well, it gives me somewhere to go. Anyone else think it's weird that none of the enemies ever have, uh... guns or anything? 
In the movies, everyone's really fond of these little crossbows. Maybe it's easier to make a crossbow and then... Or maybe it's easier to make crossbow bolts than bullets in the post-apocalypse. That's what my thought is. I mean, look at all the trouble we went to to get a guy who knows how to make bullets. Uh, fuck, I don't, I don't, I'm just running around at random now. Oh, hey. Okay, there's that. I'm kind of hoping to find the other thing first, because it brings up this really satisfying... You got 100%, and here's an optional thing at the bottom. I have looked up here before. A part of me is wondering if that wall is cracked because I can blow it up. That's where I've reached. I've just realized these are made of uh, car doors. Yeah, I know. It's just a fucking box. But they're very distinctive. Oh no, it's right. I do have to go back around this way. To reach that bridge. one model for them, after all. Fuck! Alright, alright, I'll go back and break the thing. I got other things to do. Let's see if there's anything under that wall. I'll be back. You can fucking count on it. I'll go take out that insignia and then we'll be on our way. If you saw the, uh... The project part, by the way. Feel free to point it out to me with a timestamp or whatever. <laughs> they invariably make me feel like an idiot for missing things, but, uh... I would much rather that than miss it forever. Especially in a game like this where backtracking is endlessly possible. Just there. Well, let's get back to Chum. You know, he worries. I know I've looked in here before, but I'm going to look anyway. No, it's just a scared man. Damn it! There's the timer. Didn't make it to the dredges. I knew it was a bit optimistic, but hey, at least I didn't do multiple parts this time. For a second, I thought that icon there was it right fucking there. And that would have been really funny and annoying way to me. 
Alright, fine. I'll just walk right out the front door. It will be fine. Hey, chum, I didn't find the thing. Is something of value to us? Or to the magnum opus? Found a bunch of scrap, but, uh... I don't know. Tune in to the next episode, or rather here, of, uh, Let's Play Mad Max. And we check in with whoever that is. And then attack the dredges. For reals this time. We're going to check out what the transfer stations are like. Later.